Spiritual Harvest Ministries. Heavenly Father, we just glorify you in this place on today, Lord God. We ask that you rain down on us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, because this is a, a precious day, a momentous day, Lord God. This is the day that you rose, Lord God, so that we may live, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for what you have done for us, Lord God. Lord, we just ask all those things that are trying to keep us bound, Lord God, that we cast all those things to you right now, Lord God. Lord, people will be delivered on today, Lord God. Burdens, Lord God, all those burdens that people are carrying, Lord God, they will be able to give it all to you, Lord God. We just glorify you and thank you for what you're going to do in this place on this morning, Lord God. We ask for a fresh anointing, Lord God, to fall fresh on each and every one of us, Lord God. We don't want to keep living on the grace that you gave us yesterday. You said grace is new every morning, Father. And we thank you this morning, Lord God. We just glorify you. We thank you for the speak on today. We thank you for every part, every position, everything that someone has to contribute. But Lord, we just give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory because you are worthy of the honor, Lord God. We worship you, Lord God. And this is if this is our last opportunity, Lord God. We don't know, Lord God. Many of us can sit down at a pew and take our last breath today, Lord God. But we want to be ready, Father. And we thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing on the inside of us. Lord, we ask that you create in us clean hearts, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you forgive us, Lord God, for those things that we said, Lord God, those things that we did, Lord God, that was against you, Lord God, that was against your people, Lord God. We thank you, Father. We thank you. We ask that you set a fire on us, Lord God. A fire that won't go out, Lord God. And we glorify you in this place on today. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. had not been resurrected from the dead. Right. Jesus died to show us that we don't have to fear death. That's right. Why? Because death is not the end. Right. Just like Jesus, we will be resurrected too. Yes, yes, I'm just a teenager, yes. but I know what to tell yes. someone yes. about why Christ's resurrection is so important. Yes. Christ was raised from the dead, and that proves exactly who he declared himself to be. Romans 1 and 4 says, And he was shown to be the Son of God when he was raised from the dead 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. He is Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. This is the meaning of the resurrection. Jesus Christ is God, and everything he said is true. This is a big deal, and our faith is not in vain. Oh, and one last thing. That huge debt of sin that none of us could pay. Jesus Christ paid it all. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Psalm says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Our song is Broken Vessels.
his most holy, most wonderful, most majestic name. That name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah, he is risen.
we see you. As we see Building the spirit now for Christ, one person at a time.